Hello guys, in this quick and short video I'm going to be teaching you how we can use the Excel formula using the Excel workbook or the Excel spreadsheet. So let's say I have a list of numbers, let's say uh, I'll be writing down some random numbers here 8, 5, 9, 6, uh, 2 okay and uh, here I would like to find out what the uh, if I wish to find out the total of all these numbers, all I simply need to do is that just click on the auto sum and this is what it will do. As you can see in this screen preview, what it will do is that it will add up all the numbers and on the 8th row, it will give us the sum of that. So the sum of all this is 41. Okay. Similarly, I'll just hit Ctrl V to undo that. Similarly, if you wish to find out the maximum of all these numbers, all you need to do is that just click on the small pin here and say maximum. It will give you the maximum of all the numbers. So, maximum of these numbers from within this range, the maximum number is the 9, the number 9, or maximum or the highest number, uh, so to speak. Similarly, if you wish to find out the minimum number, you can do the same thing. But what if you have a number, let's say we have one number uh, here and uh, one number here and one number uh, let's say here and uh, you want to know the total of these three numbers in three different locations right here let's say here so how would you do that? it's hard to select all this so the best way to do that is if you if you would like to have the if you would like to see the total all you need to do is that just click on that cell and you can type a formula and all the excel formulas begin with the equal sign like this and you click on the first row or the cell it will select that and it will give us the uh the cell address that is C5 okay so what we need to do we need to add all that so we'll hit plus and I will click on this cell it gives us the address that is E2 right here it is on the column E on the row 2 so it is listed right here similarly I will hit plus because we are adding these values and I'll hit on the third column right here that is F5 and now and all I need to do is that hit enter and it will give me the total of all these three values and what I can also do is that I can come here and change the value let's say from 8 I will change this one to let's say 1 and hit enter and the moment I do that it updates the value right here because if you if you see the value underneath the the formula underneath the cell what it is doing is it is adding the value from this row and then from this row and then from this row so this is what it is doing and the moment you update the value the total gets updated as well so this is one way to do that and also you can and also you can insert your own functions you can just click here there are various functions we have some average you can start with the uh, if else statement uh, you can have the conditions here, you can count, uh, it will give you the total number of uh, the, the count and you can have sin, sum if and uh, the format of the format of using the function is shown right here. You can also click on the help on this function to get some more information about how to use a specific function. So Excel is using function is pretty very straightforward and easy. So that was it, I hope you like this video. So do join me and please leave your comments down below. Thank you.